Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 17. And Eliyahu the Tishbi, who was of the inhabitants of Gilad, said unto Ahav, As Yahuwah Elohim of Yashadael lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of Yahuwah came unto him, saying, Get you hence, and turn eastward, and hide yourself by the brook Kerith, that is, before the Ardan. And it shall be that you shall drink of the brook, and I have commanded Eth the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according unto the word of Yahuwah, for he went and dwelt by the brook Kerith, that is, before the Yardan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of Yahuwah came unto him, saying, Arise, get you to Seraphath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a window woman, rather a widow woman there, to sustain you. So he arose and went to Seraphath. When he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks, and he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray you, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray you, a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, As Yahuwah Eloheka lives, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Eliyahu said unto her, Fear not, go and do as you have said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for you and for your son. For thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that Yahuwah sends rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Eliyahu, and she and he and her house did eat many days, and the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke by Eliyahu. And it came to pass, after these things, that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick, and his sickness was so sore that there was no breath left in him. And she said unto Eliyahu, What have I to do with you, O man of Elohim? Are you come unto me to call Eth my sin to remembrance, and to slay Eth my son? And he said unto her, Give me Eth your son. And he took him out of her bosom, and carried him up into a loft, where he abode, and laid him upon his own bed. And he cried unto El Yahuwah, and said, O Yahuwah, Elohai, have you also brought evil upon the wind widow with whom I sojourn by slaying at her son? And he stretched himself upon the child three times, and cried unto El Yahuwah, and said, O Yahuwah, Elohai, I pray you, let this child's soul come into him again. And Yahuwah heard the voice of Eliyahu, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. And Eliyahu took at the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered him unto his mother. And Eliyahu said, See, your son lives. And the woman said to Eliyahu, 
Now by this I know that you are a man of Elohim, and that the word of Yahuwah in your mouth is truth.